It looked ungainly, a stork-like bird of Kevlar and carbon, flexing and bending in the breeze. Skeptics said it could never achieve what it was built for, but the appearance was deceiving. The Voyager was an overachiever, the first plane to fly non-stop around the world. Designed by Bert Rutan and piloted by brother Dick and his girlfriend Jeannie Yeager, the brothers were compared to the Wright brothers, and true to that spirit, they wanted to achieve more. Not content with flying non-stop around the world, the Rutans are now chasing another goal, to build and fly the fastest piston-powered plane in the world. But in this endeavour, they have a new challenge in the form of competition in what's developing into a duel in the desert. <laughs> the Rutans believe they have the right aircraft, a new lightweight speedster called the Pond Racer, but not everyone agrees. Rare Bear is the current world heavyweight champion with a blistering 528 miles per hour or 850 kilometres an hour to its credit. It's a Bearcat Navy fighter from 1947, twice the weight and twice the horsepower of the Pond Racer. It's a case of modern technology versus good old fashioned raw muscle. But the Rare Bear team has had to compromise. The plane wasn't originally designed to fly with a 3,800 horsepower engine. Modifications had to be made. It's here the Rutans have the advantage. They started from scratch with only one objective, to build a plane that would fly fast. The result was the Pond Racer. It was designed for one specific thing, and that was to uh, be a pylon air racer and fly at 430 knots. So it's, uh, it's, it's airfoils, it's shape, Everything is optimized for just that one speed. When speed is the single objective, power and weight are the primary considerations. The Pond Racer has two high-performance 3.2-litre V6 engines mounted in the booms and is constructed largely from graphite composite material. To save on space, the aircraft has what's called a wet wing. All 400 litres of methanol fuel are stored from tip to tip inside here. When much of the plane itself is the fuel tank, safety is paramount. The pilot sits in a cockpit between the booms to be out of the slipstream of the engines. This machine is so highly tuned that anything can go wrong. We have a brand new airplane and a brand new engine. Usually that's something we never do. We develop brand new engines on tested airframes. So we really violated our rule here. <laughs> At such an early stage, every flight is a test flight. There are many unknown quantities. Rutans have been surprised by the handling of the Pond Racer. It flies very well, which leaves the team with time to better develop the engines. After each flight, information such as stress loading is downloaded into a computer for analysis. Every avenue is explored as they search for those precious extra knots. There is much tuning and test flying to do before the world will find out if the Rutans can beat the Rare Bear and add another record to their already impressive list. I've been around where skeptics are saying that you can't do something for a long time. Who said I could get in an airplane and fly non-stop around the world? But the feeling is just that much better when you do it. You get a real glow, real warm glow about having done something that everybody said you couldn't do.